Paige Cruz. My mom calls me that. I don't know why. I just came from upstairs. <sighs> I mean, I came from downstairs and I ran upstairs and I ran back downstairs and I ran upstairs because I'm trying to make sure I keep an eye out for the people back in my backyard doing my fence. So just want to make sure they were good. But anyways, <laughs> hey guys, today I'm installing the sensational wig. This is their butterfly. Butterfly. Rewind, Kaya. So this is their Butterfly Locks 30 inch wig. This is from Sensational. It's a four by four lace closure wig. And I'm here for it, okay? I love a good lace closure. So let's get her installed, shall we? Oh, this is not moving. Okay, I'm really curious to see what this is gonna look like. Is it gonna be flat? Is it gonna be bulky? Because I'm not really, like, I don't, gravitate towards locks necessarily i like twist and braids but locks not really so i'm curious to see what, what what it's gonna look like especially with this being 30 inches 30 inches does that look like 30 inches i'll be honest they don't look like 30 inches but who knows but the good thing is it comes with an elastic band installed. We got some combs in here, front and back combs, adjustable bands. Let me go ahead and make this tighter. I always just start off with making my wigs tighter in general because I like a snug feel. Wow, that four by four looks super tiny. <laughs> or maybe I just haven't had a four by four wig in a minute, but that looks small. Now there's makeup on my fingernails. Love that for me. Oh, look at that. It's an adjustable elastic band. You can make the elastic band tighter too. Yes. Cause I was like, this feels a little stretchy, a little stretched out. Okay, it's better. No, I didn't. <laughs> that, that tells you that I got a lot on my mind <laughs> because no, I didn't. <laughs> But what will tell all is once we actually, you know, get her in place. Okay, so this week has baby hairs that I do kind of want to use a little bit. I'm trying to figure out how. So I'm going to use this 24 hour edge tamer and it's from Even and it's coconut scented and it smells so good. Whew, make you want to eat it but I'm not going to do that because I ain't trying to end up in the hospital. Um, edge tamer gel though. So let's see what we can do with these edges. Go ahead and just kind of pin my hair back so it won't keep falling in my face. So they have these little pieces in here that are like sewing the twist down, but I like to have a little more control. So I kind of cut those little pieces so that my twist or my braids or my locks can move in the direction that I need them to. I'm not hating this wig so far, which is a good thing considering that I'm not done, but I'm just cutting off these little back pieces that have the twist kind of connected. The only thing I'm a little bit nervous about is 
the height that this wig is going to have. Like, I don't know, when I have individuals or whatever, I like my hair to be flat. I don't want it to be sticking up on my head. <laughs> which I feel like it's what it's doing right now. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna get this to tame down just a little bit. So let's see, maybe a little foam. Let's hope I don't get up. So, this is what we're working with. It's big. I feel like my head is a pea inside of a pod. It just looks really busy. I don't know how I feel about it. Real shit. I don't know how I feel about it. It just looks, and it might be this hairstyle. So I'm gonna take the top knot out and see like, maybe try something else and see what that looks like. There's just so much going on. It just looks like really, really busy. I don't know, what do you guys think? The side doesn't look that bad. It looks a light less busy than before. Because before it was just looking like there was just so much going on. But I think this looks a lot better with it all just down. It still is big though, but it's doable. Like I feel like I could still wear this with the right outfit. This will look cute. You know, I like the side part look. I think I like this the most with this hair because I didn't really like it in the middle and I didn't really like it in the half up half down do but the side part I can live with like putting the hair to the side I can live with this this is cute and doable I don't know you guys it's just it's a lot of hair and I think you have to be comfortable with lots to wear this style the length is fine the color is fine it's just that I think me personally, I don't ever wear locks when I have individuals or, you know, protective style. I just never go towards this. So it just has me a little out of my comfort zone. But I don't think it looks bad. Just got to find my, my groove with it, you know. Otherwise, it's big head friendly. I like the 4x4 closure. I feel like it gives you enough lace space to work with in terms of, you know, um, achieving different hairstyles it's very much so full um i feel like you can really tie this down and get it to be a little bit more flat um i think i got it pretty flat the edges were pretty cool too you know i cut some of them off added a little bit here and there it's, it's, it's cute it's doable but that's all i gotta say thanks to sensational for sending this over thanks to you, you guys for watching <sighs> let me go take some pictures in this so i can like be feeling myself. <laughs> Bye y'all.